One of the big things that's happened in CSX beta is there's a lot more use being made of GPU. And oh my gosh, wait till you see the speed improvements. So one of the things that really shines in this area is the new cropping, not just the cropping, but also the perspective cropping. So we're gonna jump in right now and work with this. And you know, I gotta say, I'm really excited about it. So let's check it out. All right, let's have a look at cropping in Photoshop CS6 beta. I know I'm going really fast in here and, and I assure you in my training videos I, I do slow it down a little bit but in this case I've got a short amount of time where I'm trying to cover a lot of material so let's just go and have a look here we're gonna grab our crop tool here and this is one of the things that's new and changed notice as we do this things move around a little bit differently so we can actually move our object within the cropping space now so you can see it's a little bit different and we've got different views here you can see we've got a lot of different ones we've got a golden spiral we've got grids we've got diagonals and different ways to help us um, cycle through our overlays there and we go back to our rule of thirds and we can just hit the o key and it will actually cycle us through them but anyway let's just go here we can look at our object there notice we have options here we can go to classic mode if we turn that on now it just works like it always did. That's how the crop tool used to work. Now we turn it off and we've got this really, really neat way of working. Let me zoom in a little bit because uh, I feel like I, it, you know, <laughs> squeezing my image right into the middle there. So we can pull that down and then we can move our image to exactly how we want. And you can see that it's kind of neat. We can also rotate it and you can see immediately what you're going to get. So it's it's really kind of neat. And then we have the option here where we can delete the crop pixels. We can turn it on or off. And if we delete it, then when we crop it, it will just crop it down to that shape. If we turn that off, then it will crop it, but the image will still be there and we can move it around within the screen. And we can see here we can constrain it to different aspect ratios. So I'm just going to hit the escape key and get out of here. Let me just escape. There we go. And now I'm going to show you another option, which is the perspective crop tool. Now, this one is crazy. It's a lot of fun. So let's start from the corner here. We're going to drag it out here. And what I'm going to do is let's just go around this window and we're going to grab a perspective here. So what we're going to do is just follow the bricks and then we're going to click there and maybe move this one down a little bit. Give it a little more space. Let's move it down to the bottom of that one brick. And what we can do is we can use this to straighten our photographs. Now just make sure that you follow these on a straight line. And I'm just going to put that one about there. And how are we doing there? That's pretty good. Pretty somewhat close. And now when we're ready, we just hit the Enter key, apply the crop, and look at that. It straightens that object up. So that's a really, really cool tool. Um, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with that. Let me just undo it. And you can see we can do different things. Let's do something else with it. Let's just drag it across there. Let's pull it down. I don't know. Let's pull it down there. Just to kind of show you a slightly. And notice that the perspective goes away this way and it goes that way. Hit enter. And there we go. We've got that object. So you can see it's a really neat tool. Uh, 3D artists are going to find this incredibly useful because you can now take your textures from a perspective and straighten them up really quick and use those. Photographers will also have a lot of fun with this particular effect because it enables you to get rid of distortion and, and uh, you know, keystoning and stuff in your photographs. Now, you know, you can take it as far or as subtle as you like. Um, but anyway, that's the new crop tools and uh, I certainly enjoy them.